Detective Sergeant Keegan Hughes, K-E-E-G-A-N-H-U-G-H-E-S. I'm going to start with a statement and then we'll get going. Um, on Saturday, April 13th, around 10.30 p.m., uh, a shooting occurred at one of our local parks. Officers were dispatched and upon arrival, they found a 19-year-old and a 20-year-old with several gunshot wounds. A uh, short time later, a 17-year-old who had ran away from the scene was located with another gunshot wound. 19-year-old Ladrono Hamilton Jr. of Kansas City and 20-year-old Carmelo Matlock of Independence were both later declared dead at a local hospital. The 17-year-old suffered a serious but minor wound that won't be uh, too hard to overcome. Our thoughts and prayers with their family. Uh, our hearts hurt that such young lives were taken in our community. We have shut down our entire investigation unit and are now working this case uh, as hard as we can. We're following up on hundreds of leads, watching hours of video. Uh, we have about 100 young people who are at that park that night that we need to interview. If somebody is watching us was at that park last that night and we haven't spoke to you, please call our dispatch at 816-228-0152. We would like to talk to you. Young Park has been a staple in our community for many years. I grew up in this community and in the 90s spent a lot of time at that park. My children hang out at that park, they play sand volleyball, play tennis, play basketball. For years it's been a place that our community can come and play safely. And we want to keep it that way. We're open for any questions. Sir, do you know where uh, around the park did the shooting specifically occur? And do you know anything that may have led up to it spilling into a shooting? It happened right next to the same volleyball course. And we're still investigating everything to determine motives from behind all this. And are there any suspects or people of interest right now? We're following up on several leads. Um, but right at this point, we're not really ready to give out much on that. Any weapons found at the scene? Was that the we, don't wanna, we don't want to answer too much on that. You said there were hundreds of kids that need to be interviewed. What, were there hundreds of kids at the park? What was going on there? Or was that just a gathering spot? How did you get to that? For years, that has been a place where local and, and kids from around our metro come and play basketball and volleyball and tennis. It is a place that kids can go, and it's not a party. There's no loud music. It's, it's not anymore anyway, but it's a place where um, they can safely and just hang out and be kids. Do you know how many, like that night, was there a large group of kids before the shooting or? Yes, as typical on a Friday or Saturday night with night's weather, um, that is that you'll, you'll see just a round robin of volleyball and basketball games going on. So this park, if I'm not mistaken, closes at midnight? Correct. And this was at 10.30? Correct. Around. So as you said, not unusual, but whether like this, a lot of people would be out there? Correct. Is there typically a police presence in that area or how? Yeah, we try to drive through all our parks, especially uh, Young Park, to ensure that um, we were having problems probably three or four years ago with loud music. And so we, we drive through to make sure that there's not just stereos blasting and, and that the neighbors that live around there aren't bothered by their presence. Sir, I spoke to a woman who was at the park with her son earlier today who told me the same stuff you did. She lives in the community. She takes her, her children there. She, she was shocked to hear something like this happen at a park she's so familiar with. When the news reached the police department, describe to me your emotions. How shocked were you guys to see that happen at a park you're familiar with? You know, I, I, like I said, in a summer, you'll find my, my children hanging out in that park. That personally, it's shocking. Um, as, as a law enforcement official in this community, it's shocking. Uh, gunfire, uh, homicide uh, is, 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 not, is not welcome and not one in this community. And we have to ensure that everyone's safe in the future and can continue hanging out that park. Are these the first two homicides in Blue Springs so far this year? Do you know how many you had last year by any chance? I, I don't know the numbers last year. This, is our, this would be our, our second and third for the year. Second and third. Is there a connection between the shooting victims or 18 and 19 year old who passed away or 19 and 20 year old, I don't know the exact age, but were they connected to the 17 year old or were? It's unknown at this time, we're following up. Like I said, we have so many leads to follow up on. Sir, what is it you want to say to people watching tonight who, li who likely could have been there? What if, they're, what if they're nervous of retaliation or what if they feel like what they know just isn't worth coming to you guys? So what, what, what is it you want to say, put out there to motivate them that they need to come forward regardless of whatever they're scared of? Two young lives were taken. And if you have information that can lead 
to help provide justice for their families and for these victims, come forward. Even if you think you have a small detail, you may have saw one little thing. That one little thing could be the final piece of the puzzle. Please call us and, and tell us what you have. We will have one of our detectives speak with you and get your information. And you can remain anonymous. I realize that the 17-year-old is recovering from injuries as well, but is that 17-year-old, are they cooperating in any way at this point? He gave a statement originally that night um, and, and provided us with the information he knew at the time. I know you said it's not uncommon for young people to hang out and be kids at the park, even if it was, you know, 1030 at night. Uh, still, with the, what, what, what is it you feel like parents should really do in a time like this to always make sure they know where their kids are or what should they should they be having conversations about? If you see something escalating, how do you walk away before it, 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 it spills over into a shooting? Great. I have had this conversation with my own kids um, and, and in a situation like this, you can watch it on camera. You, you can tell the mood changes. Uh, you can't hear what's going on, but you can see the mood changes in the park. A lot of people start leaving. There's going to be signs before a big fight, usually people crowding to an area, aggressive yelling. That's the time that you want to leave. You want to get in your car or you want to get out of there. There is uh, there's a walking path. If you can't get to your car, walk away the other way, call the police and, and come and we can get there hopefully and, and make it safe. You said it's not clear if the victims themselves knew of each other of, or of each other. Were they found like near each other, or they they weren't? Um, but the, one of the one of the victims pretty much was uh, succumbed to his injuries on scene. The other one was able to to run away from where the incident occurred, um, and so he was found just a little bit, you know, probably two hundred yards away. Okay, and that's not and that's not even the seventeen year old. Correct. Okay. Do you think there will be any considerations for like a curfew or maybe something like that at the park that's earlier than midnight going forward after this happening? I, I don't know. I don't want to speak for our city council or, or for the city administration. Um, but I know as a police department, we're going to be putting in extra patrols. We're going to be making sure that um, we, we monitor the size uh, in these parks and if need be, uh, just spend extra time there and, and make sure that they're safe. So you have video of this incident? All of our parks in the city have, um, or at least most, I, don't, I shouldn't say all, have high definition cameras and multiple. So yes, we have this entire incident on camera. How critical is that going to be in the investigation? For us, when you can actually see for your own eyes what occurred, it's, it's pretty big. Will the department release any of that video to the public soon, asking for help identifying people? Uh, at this time, we won't. That, that's a consideration for the Jack County Prosecutor's Office uh, to be involved with. All good? Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Good luck with everything.